welcome to another episode thank you for choosing my channel so today i'm going to do a value added tax calculation which i believe that is very simple whatever the question whatever the kind of a theory that will come you have to make sure that you give the full marks on this question so in this question is the previous question paper which was written in 20 20 november so the question consists of vat and also consists of creditors reconciliation if you know that when you prepare for examination you must make sure that um, you master all the chapters because they are not going to set the question individually by chapter but they are going to combine some of the chapters together all right so in this question we have two question which is VAT and creditors reconciliation however on this video I'm going to explain a VAT please make sure that you subscribe on this channel so that we will be able to watch the creditors reconciliation question which will be also uploaded okay so let's start with our first question question one which is VAT they said Amafe traders is registered for VAT then the standard VAT rate is 15 percent so if you check on your previous question papers from 2018 the percent consistently on 15 percent so which was previously 14 percent so please make sure that you know the rate of VAT which is 15 percent but in this case we are given the percentage all right required they said calculate the figures indicated by a to b in the table below it's a nine marks a very free nine marks as long as you will understand what i'm going to do all right number 1.1.2 they said on the request they said comment on this practice and give a mature advice so they give us the scenario which we are going to read when we go to 1.1.2 then we're gonna give a practice then we give an advice okay let's start Calculate the figures indicated by A to B in the table below. This is our table. They said information. They give us invoice receipt from supplier, discount receipt from supplier, credit short receipt to customer, invoice receipt to customers. All right. Then they give us exclusive VAT, which we have to know that if we are talking about exclusive. Which is hundred percent because it doesn't have VAT. But if we talk about inclusive guys, you have to know that we are talking about one one five percent because it has included VAT. If we talk about the VAT, you know that VAT is fifteen percent. All right. So in order for you to calculate all those figures, you have to know this formula which says amount that you are going to use multiply by the percentage of required what you want what they ask you to calculate if they ask you to calculate VAT you have to put 15 on top if they ask you to calculate inclusive you have to put 115 on top then you divide by what you have what you have what you have how do you see that this is what i have you check the amount that you're using is the amount that you're using exclusive if the amount that you're using is exclusive you have to put 100 on the bottom if it's inclusive you have to put 115 all right let's start it let's check figure number a on figure number A, they said we have to calculate Z amount. All right. So let's calculate the Z amount. What do we have? You have exclusive and you also have inclusive. There are many ways that you can calculate Z amount in this case. The first way that you can use, number one, you can say exclusive amount of 78,000 
minus inclusive amount of 89,700. Okay, so this is what um, you can use. Then if you get the difference between those two amounts, it will give you the VAT amount. However, I want you to understand this formula as well. Then the difference is it will give you 11,700. Even if you say, for example, exclusive of 78,000 multiplied by required, we are required a 15%. What do we have? 78,000 is exclusive, which is 100%. Which is 100%. And it's going to give you amount of 11,700. Even if you use inclusive of 89,700 and you say multiply by required of 15, then you divide by what you have, inclusive 115. It's going to give you the same amount. So please make sure that you master this formula. Okay, now let's go to number B. Number B, we are looking for VAT. But in this case, we only given 12,000, which means that the strategy of subtracting inclusive is not going to work in this case. Which means that now you have to know what the formula. So that's why it's very important for you to know the formula. So it's going to be 12,400 of exclusive, which means that you have to say my love is 15 over exclusive is 100%. And it's going to give you 1,860. Okay. Then, now let's go to number C. Number C, they give us that amount. We are looking for inclusive, but we don't have exclusive. How are we going to calculate it? Very simple. Use the formula. Amount, multiplied by required. What are we requiring? Including VAT. We are required 115. Inclusive is 115. Then we divide by what we have. We have that amount, which is 15%. Then it's going to give you an amount of 1,610. Okay. We go to number D. Number D, they said we also have to check the stuff. They said this includes the sales of 9,200, which will have been sold at zero rated. You know that if something is zero rated, we don't have to calculate what? A VAT. Which means that in this case, you must first say 168 and 700. Then you multiply by what? Before you multiply, you first have to subtract if the amount that is zero rated. Then from there, after you get the answer, you will then multiply by you have inclusive, you are looking for VAT. You are looking for 15 and you have 115. So it's going to give you amount of 19,500. Very simple guys. Please make sure that you get to turn on the question related to VAT. Alright, let's go to the last question of advice. 1.1.2 they said the scenario said the internal auditor discovered that Amashe has been underpaying the amount due to sales in respect of VAT. At each submission date on inquiry, Amashe stated that she used the money to pay business expense and adjusted the payment later. Now they said comment on this practice and give Amashe advice. Is it correct to use the amount that you collected for VAT, which you have to give sales? No, it's not correct. This is very unethical. It's unethical to use to use VAT amount collected Then on business expense 
So this is our comment. So what should we uh, recommend or advise Amashe? Amashe must keep its record. And she must ensure that the fund are always available to make a payment to SARS because this is not allowed. Alright, then the other advice that we can give Amashe we must first comment guys uh, she must be aware that she can be fined she can be fined if you don't pay to SARS and you are making a later payment SARS can make can give you what a fine which means that this is not good for what for the business all right then the other comment that we can see it guys is that um, Amahashe must know that SARS is an agent, a business is an agent of SARS and must make a payment in time to avoid a fight. So this is kind of advice that you can give on this question. So please guys make sure that you follow this channel because I'm still going to do a lot of questions which is going to assist you prepare for your examination so i hope you learned something on this method thank you so much we'll see you next time